I am an individual. And there is a society out there of others with their own views and opinions, their own personal truths about what reality is, what their own experience is, what they value most, and so on. And I, as one of those individuals, cannot claim to have any better insight into the nature of reality than anybody else. And that's why enlightenment, which is really an Eastern concept, for the Western psyche, enlightenment is um, a different animal entirely, because in the East you can retire to a hut on the side of a mountain and meditate and contemplate, and that their culture is accepting of that. But in the West, there's this, this body called society, this collection of people that we, for whatever reason, feel indebted to, emotionally connected with. And that could just be a byproduct of the egoic consciousness that has been so cultivated in the West. Because the ego itself is nothing but... Uh, the memory of our interaction with others. The way other people respond to my being is what forms my ego. And so for me, being so interested in Eastern thought, but being a Westerner who is almost by necessity required to come to form a stable strong ego in order to survive in society at all, it makes it very difficult because for me to be engaged in society, I have to deal with others whose views about the nature of reality may be quite different than my own. And so there's this conflict, you know, who's right? And I begin to feel insecure because if I assert my reality over their reality, Aren't I then just being selfish? Even if my reality is this transcendent um, spiritual notion that we're all connected and basis of existence is Tao, this is an unspeakable flow which never began and will never end even if that is my foundation, which it's not much of a foundation, it's more groundless than anything. If I assert this groundless Tao and someone else says, oh no, reality is quite grounded. I have to wake up in the morning and go to work and make money to earn a living, uh, to pay for my bills and my food and my shelter. I cannot then say that's all I'm I could from my perspective, but for that other person, that other ego, my perspective is merely my ego's perspective. It's an opinion, no better or worse than their own, and so I become insecure about my own spiritual experience. It's not as easy to be enlightened in the West as it is in the East, I think, because the context for that in our culture is just absent. Which is why I think for us, as Westerners, the goal is to develop some kind of communal enlightenment. Enlightenment as an activity of a group of people who can work together to give rise to a larger creative process which isn't contained in any individual's mind but is is a is a product of, of a co-creative process it's not just about creating art but about creating a lifestyle a sustainable lifestyle ecologically emotionally socially 
that's the the mission of the West and the East as well now, because the East has been thoroughly westernized, and so we need to globalize some type of connection between all human beings within which we can learn to become enlightened together because it's not an individual process it's a process in which individuals take part but unless they can do it together It seems to be a waste. Or at least not as genuine as it potentially could be.